The first step in using object classification is to create the object class definition file. This is a one-time setup which is usually performed by a CAD manager or whoever is in charge of enforcing standards in a mapping system. The creation of this file is really a very simple process. It's not very important which file is open when creating a definition file because the definition file is external to the drawing itself and is stored in an XML format which can be used to attach to any drawing in the mapping system. We'll start from the task pane and click the Map Explorer tab. Within the Map Explorer, you can see a folder called Object Classes. When I select this folder, a classification context ribbon displays. In the context ribbon, Setup panel, I'll click New Definition File. As soon as I do, I get a warning that indicates that I have insufficient privileges to execute the command. This can be a confusing message for, any, for many AutoCAD users because most aren't even aware that you can use logins and assign privileges with, from within AutoCAD Map 3D. The next step is to log in as a super user which has the necessary privileges. I'll click OK to dismiss this warning. To log in, from the Ribbon Map Setup tab, I'll expand the Map panel and click User Login. By default, AutoCAD Map installs a single user called Super User. For login name, I'll type Super User. And the default password is also Super User in all uppercase letters and the password is case sensitive. Once I tape that in, I'll click OK. The command line reports that I am now successfully logged in as super user. In the Map Explorer, I'll select the Object Class folder again, and in the Context Ribbon Classification tab, Setup panel, I'll click New Definition File again and now I'm brought to the New Object Class Definition File dialog. Here I can begin the process of creating the definition file. At the top I can see the location that I'll save the definition to and for the file name I'll type Sewer and click Save. Once that's done we can verify that we have actually created this by going to Windows Explorer and here you can see that we have the new .xml file. This definition file is empty right now, so next we'll need to define object classes.